generally a firm prepares its balance sheet using the book values of its assets and liabilities now these book values are based on historical values or the historical cost by historical cost means the cost at which the buying of assets or the accruing of liabilities had taken place so such form of balance sheet is termed as a conventional balance sheet now apart from con conventional balance sheet prepared on historical cost basis a balance sheet can also be prepared on market values of the assets and liabilities and such type of balance sheet is termed as a market value balance sheet in fact it is m m2 or the modigliani and the miller proposition to that allows a firm to prepare its balance sheet using the market values of its assets and liabilities such balance sheet carries the firm's conventional assets and liabilities and other intangible assets like human capital firm's brand value and such other intangible assets at their current market price such type balance sheet follows an approach that the value is basically created by the bunch or the choice of investment pools by the firm and it is not the choice of the capital structure that creates a value for the firm now using the market value based balance sheet the market value of equity of such firm can be determined by subtracting the market value of debt and other liabilities from the market value of the assets of the firm now what is meant by leveraged recapitalization basically leveraged recapitalization means the repurchase of own shares by a firm using the debt proceeds to understand this phenomena we have an example suppose we have an all equity firm with outstanding shares of 50 million the market value per share is 4 dollar market value of equity is then 200 million which is the multiplication of a uh, 50 million shares with the pa per value market share of dollar 4 so we can say that in an all equity firm the market value of equity is equal to the market value of assets so in other words the value of the firm's balance sheet is equal to 200 million dollars in our case now assume that firm is planning to go for the borrowing of 80 million dollars and this means that on one side on the asset side there is collection of 80 million dollars but on the other side there is an occurrence of liability by the same tune now this means that there is no change on the market value of equity of the firm so when the firm goes for the share repurchase by this uh, by 20 million of its shares with the cash proceeds of 80 million dollar this means there is a decrease in the asset side by 80 million dollar by 20 million uh, 80 million dollar and there is also a corresponding decrease in the market value of the equity of the firm that is by 80 million dollar but there is no change on the liabilities of the firm so we say that at the end there is no change in the a balance sheet structure of the firm this means that the share price may remain unchanged how the remaining equity of the firm at its market value is 120 million dollars and the remaining outstanding shares of the firm are 30 million shares so the market value per share comes to 4 dollars each this means that selling of debt for 80 million to buy 20 million of equity shares for the same amount of 80 million dollars so this is the transaction of selling of the debt and buying of the equity shares means the net present value of this transaction is zero in other words the cost of incurring this transaction is equal to the benefit derived from this particular transaction